Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and we are back with The Land of Pain. Now, last time, we basically just finished this puzzle, and now we're dealing with the bloodstain. Oh, hush up, main character. Everything's just a little all over the place, that's all. It's not too bad. This is the exact same note as it was before. Huh. Do we want to investigate the blood, or do we want to ignore it and just go straight for the attic? He, he's been mutilated. Was he following me? What was he doing here? Well, I'd investigate him, but I can't crouch right now. I can't... Yeah, crap. Damn. Well, whatever. Up into the roof we go, where someone's gonna... The guy following us is, li is likely just gonna trap the door behind us. I opened it. Good job, main character. Car keys. Because there's any car around here. The heck is that? Well, I guess we're not meant to go inside the place then. Considering I can't seem to be able to crack there we go, I can crouch again! God! These controls are so temperamental at times. What do we have here? A page. Ahem! <clears throat> Since the dawn of time, our Order of the Chosen Ones has kept secret the means of communication with the depths where the Great Ancient resides. To preserve this sacred secret, it is essential that these rules be followed. Our children shall not be allowed access to public education, but instead be, will be regarded to follow a Pacific education that will teach them the secrets of the Dark Universe. On their 18th birthday, our children must take part in a sacred re initiation ritual, and, should they survive, they will receive personal the personal medal that they shall use to access the secret sites. The medal is very important, and it must not be lost for any reason. Upon the death of a chosen one, the passing ritual will be celebrated in his honor. His medallion will be placed in the coffin of, with his body, so that the deceased can use it to open the underground world. On the gravestone, there will be the great ancient's picture, in order that he can watch over the deceased during his journey into the death. And that's the medallion. Okay. I thought you guys hated the Great Ancient and were trying to banish him. I don't need these sounds, please. No. Go away. I want nothing to do with any of you. Can I do something with you? No. You? No. Well, why do I get the sense that the big monster's out to get us again now? And the clock stopped the moment we came down here. Hooray! Right. Come at me, Cthulhu monster. Don't run until we need to. Wait a moment, car keys! I hate it when, you, when people just ignore these things, and I almost did it myself. A gear. We have a gear now, do we? Well, we know what the gear's for. Hello, Mr. Gear, what do you do? 
This fits perfectly. Rotate. Well, that's a thing and a half. I didn't even think it possible because it looked like there was nothing here. But I guess as it's only this bit, it's not so bad. And I have no idea what this just did. Page. The pneumonic system is operated by four, by four valves, one of which acts as a separate case, one of which acts as a spare in case of emergency. Hmm. In order to operate the system, the correct pressure must be established in the system's pipes. It is essential not to introduce more pressure than necessary to avoid serious damage to the system and possible explosion. The system has been calibrated to reach the correct pressure in the following way. Valve 1, medium. Valve 2, minimum. Valve 3, medium. In the event that one of the three supply pipes is damaged, the fourth pipe may be used as a replacement. As it is, as it is smaller, however, it is necessary to take into consideration its lower capacity. Right. Okay, then. I wonder if I broke a pipe then, considering I moved all of these before. Uh, it said moderate for you, so... You're meant to be minimum. You're broken. Right, so we have to use you. And it said you're smaller, so that would logically mean you have to be bigger. Well, that wasn't hard. Strange joint. The pedestal was under the, hidden on the floor. There's a strange mechanism. Looks like something can be inserted. Well, great. Now we need one to find one of the medallions. Ooh! Shovel! Let's go grave digging! A looting I will go. A looting I will go. Hey, hold a merry yo, looting all the corpses. As if we don't do it anyway in every single RPG. Don't act like you're better than me, we all know it's the other way around. Right, the grave is marked with the Great Ancient. So then. What was that? Graves? There's no reason to dig here. There is with this one. According to what I read, this should be the grave of one of the chosen ones. Yes, so dig it up. What a ruthless man. Just going straight into his digging. Come on, let me pick up the medallion. There we go. We now have the medallion of the chosen ones. Meaning we can go insert this into that strange mechanism. I knew we had a shovel for a reason. Even if it wasn't for the reason I thought it would be. Well, actually, it was completely the reason I thought it would be. Because this character just seems incompetent with the idea of being violent and hitting someone over the head with a deadly weapon such as a shovel. These characters have no idea of self-preservation or self-defense. I don't like the way it just saved. So, I'm kind of scared about what's going to happen behind this wall. It is a tunnel. I don't know what I expected. And Lee, screw me. I'm not going back, am I? No. No, I'm not. Well. This is where I discover I'm the Cthulian, the, the son of Cthulhu, and I need to go kill him. If it does that, give me a bloody sword. 
so I can do an epic charge moment where I fall to my, where I inevitably die because it's Cthulhu. Okay. Point one. How do you have lava this close to the surface and yet a house right next outside it so that nobody notices? Point two. Your bridge is broken, and it's made of wood. You've made some, put something made of wood over lava. Your logic is not sound, you're an idiot. It's to point three, why is it purple? Like, out of every color, why purple? And what's with the random pipes? Oh, hello, Cthulhu. These huge statues represent the creatures worshipped by the world's inhabitants. They make me shiver every time I see them. With good reason. Examine. Finally, here it is. This must be the machine they were talking about. I just need to stop... Stop. To start it, to open the portal. Then hopefully I can get away from this horrible place. You say hopefully. I say doubtfully. Examine. Wow, this skull is huge. What on earth did this belong to? Judging by the shape, human. Then I look at the teeth and I regret my de regret my previous choice of a of who it belonged to. We have found a descendant of the ancient uh, the an ancient ancestral line, and everything in is start in this pl play, and everything is in place to capture him. The machine has already started, but the opening of the portal will take some time. Some of us are already going to the cage to reach Earth and capture the descendant. I will join them soon. The underground tunnel that leads to the platform is not safe, so instead I will walk through the woods. If we are lucky, the descendant may spontaneously enter the portal, and when we arrive at the site of the monolith, we may find him in the cage waiting for us. There are a few of us left now. I just hope that at least one of us can reach him. Okay, my journal. <clears throat> can it be true? That I am one of the descendants of this awful god, my body infused with its blood? Did those creatures want to capture me to drain my blood and use it against their god in some sort of diabolical ritual? I can't believe this. It can't be true. Please don't let it be true. I need to try and open the portal, but the passage has closed behind me, blocking the, the way I came in. I'll have to travel through the tunnels. I really hope there is nothing lurking in there. Who knows what else is hiding in the darkness of this damned place. I can't wait to leave this land of pain. Ah, title, title of the game. What I wouldn't give to see Dad's old cabin again. Right. Okay. Examine. A cassette of chemical products. Simple and to the point. Start the machine. I feel I need to leave now. The machine has started. The portal should have reopened exactly where I arrived. At the center of the big monolith. This is it. I can need to get there quickly before it closes. You know what, mate? You don't need to tell me twice. Let us head out. Oh, it's a cutscene door. Ooh. And it's actually a proper, proper transition like this. Hmm. We're gonna die in these caves. Uh, cry engine. Damn, the fuel in the lantern ran out. I'll have to go on without him. You prick. I've had that thing on since the beginning of the game and it has never run out of fuel. Don't save on me. Not in a scenario where I am right now. There's something in the bloody water, isn't there? Okay. Okay, game. What have you got for me? What's around here? This feels like a boss arena, but you haven't given me any mechanics in which I can use which I can use to fight. Give me my light.
Fuck you! No, 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 no. I am very annoyed if it's following me down here. It's not. Hooray, I lost it. Character, catch thy breath. You're going to need it. I can tell. This place is a horror. It is a maze. And I already hate it. I hate mazes. You can never... No, a proper maze always follows a logical pattern. That pattern normally being, if you want to get out, always turn right. Jump the bridge, thank you. I was gonna say, if you didn't jump the bridge, there's something wrong with you. Where are we? We are... In the- oh! A lantern. I can attach it to my belt. And apparently we can go up a trap door. We look like we're in the caves right now. And considering the monster was just there, it can't really be in the caves waiting for us. Unless there's more than one. But then again, apparently I'm somewhere weird. Where am I, game? The monolith. We're actually at the end. I opened it. Well done, main character. You opened the door. Clap, clap. That was strangely and very oddly convenient. Come back home. Do I want to? I mean, what's this place got to offer? I mean, it's nice and dark, it's nice and dreary. It's got a nice atmosphere with the people who get who die. I could go worship Cthulhu, like, in Riyadh, actually as a valid religion for once. No, I'm going home. No sounds of the monster, just as I'm teleporting away. It can't get me now. F off! I am home. My mountains. I made it. I'm... I'm finally home. The cabin has burnt to the ground. Well, I say that, but really only the roof has burnt because apparently the walls were so wet, damp and dreary that they couldn't physically burn. Which kind of says something about the state of the cabin in the first place and why I should not have been in it in the first place. Well, yeah, your cabin burnt down. Nothing's left. Everything is destroyed. Does that really matter at this point? Your ho- Oh, you bitch! Hello, Cthulhu. I didn't try to escape. No. No, I didn't. What's going on? Um, how can you not tell what's going on? You're in the presence of Cthulhu right now. You're about to meet your father. I hope you don't have daddy issues. That voice in my head, I don't know the language, but somehow I can understand it. It's calling me, I can't ignore. Hi, Cthulhu. Hello. Um, how are you doing? I hope you're not mad about the fact we kind of banished you from our realm into the depths of the ocean, only for you to come here to reenact your power to get revenge on us eventually. No, 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 I don't need to follow you. You can go away. 
No, I'm not having anything to deal with you. Um, I'll climb out. Yeah. I'll burn myself. Look, I can climb out. Just give me a chance, okay? I don't need anything to deal with you. You know what? I've got my sword. You know, Cthulhu, I'm perfectly happy jumping into that pit with you. But I have one key surprise for you. You're gonna die with me! I'll slice! Did I win? Did I beat Kuk? Did I kill Cthulhu? Did I beat him after all this time? Oh. Well. That was the land of pain. I went and got the sword for nothing. Well, it is as I pre kind of predicted at the beginning that you don't escape a Cthulian adventure. So, um... I suppose I should give a little... My little review of the game as I do at the end of every game. Alright. Well, I liked the game. It has a very nice atmosphere to it. It was made by one person, so I'm taking that into consideration for the, the review. Graphically, I, li I really liked it. I have the lowest settings, and I still really like the graphics. I find the monster we were running away from honestly hilarious, just because of what it is, and the fact it just hugs you as it to kill you. But you got to do with what assets you can find. So, yeah, it works perfectly fine. It definitely built up the atmosphere. The music was very good at what it did. If you have one gri if I have one gripe to me, it's the fact that this anti-aliasing always switched back to on, basically turned back on every time I loaded the game and I had to turn it back off every time for the recording, otherwise it just makes it all jagged. And I know this isn't the smoothest in the per the first place, but it made it really jagged, which is saying something. Uh Everything was Cthulhu-based, which is fair. It's Lovecraftian. It's his most famous monster. They should he should they should try and make some use some others in pop culture though. He's got plenty of others. Overall, I really liked the game. It was a nice short game where people pl complete it in an hour and a half, and it's taken me mul and it's probably taken me a total of I think Steam said I've been playing this for seven now. So yeah, shows my skill at doing these sorts of things. Uh, okay, no, I, it was a good game, I liked it, but my one gripe with it was that swamp. That swamp ruined a lot of the game, because that swamp was too luck-based. You could not run away from the monster properly. The fact that the monster was there kind of ruined the atmosphere. Oh, no, it helped with the atmosphere at first. The fact you couldn't properly run away from the monster reliably ruined the atmosphere. Because it just made things frustrating. So, Alessandro, if you want to try and improve this, improve that little area a bit better. Apart from that, I liked everything. Especially with the fact, especially in the mines where the monster just climbed the wall and I put, and that, I personally found that funny to me. Especially my reaction to it. I like how you didn't. You, I like the how it didn't rely on jump scares as well. It definitely did not rely on jump scares for its horror. Well, it had a few moments which might have been meant to be jump scary, but they weren't. The only jump scare I can think of was Cthulhu in the in the caves when we were on the boat. So, I honestly like this game. I give it a good rating. I honestly give it a good rating. And if you want a nice horror game, play it. It's really good for the atmosphere. It's got some nice puzzles. But yeah. So everybody, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'm sorry if it's a little short. I try to make episodes at least 20 minutes, but it looks like I may have ended the episode a bit early last time, considering. So, I have been your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I thank you for watching. But, 
until the next time, I must bid thee farewell, good day, and finally, happy hunting. <laughs> <laughs>